several demos, several albums, Imaginary Friends, Acid Nine, mm-hmm. um, uh, Anon and On. I've gone back and listened to a lot of this stuff. Okay. And um, I really enjoy it. Okay. I'm like, yo, I didn't know Aloe Black could rhyme like this. I would consider my my experience and my history as an MC or uh, in, in hip hop as the, the training ground for writing that I guess that I do now. Yeah, you write, I guess you have, um, it's like Estelle started out as an MC. Mm-hmm. Mm. Jill Scott started out, spoke a word, then had mm-hmm. to train herself how to be a songwriter. Mm-hmm. Badu was an MC. Mm-hmm. You could hear it in the way that they write songs. Yeah. Certain people, you can hear when they started out as an MC. Um, this led to you being on the radar of Lupac, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, the, the story goes that I had graduated from university um, and I was going to walk straight into my, my position at Ernst & Young, mm. but September 11th happens, mm. pushes my start date back. And so my start get, date gets pushed back a few months, and what opens up is this m- magical opportunity to go to Europe and join a tour mm-hmm. that was with the Loop Pack touring around Europe. At that time, Mad Lib was working on his Shades of Blue project, so he was like, I'm not even going to go on tour. I'm thinking to myself, how are you not going to go <laughs> on your own tour? He's, I'm just going to play but these that's, drums. <laughs> that's Lib. Like, he does what he wants, right. how he wants. And because there was an empty bed and an empty seat, on that tour, I paid my way, but I went on tour and and got to perform for their audience throughout Europe. So you were with Jack and DJ Rome. I was with Jack, DJ Rome's Oh No Metaphor, and P Tricks. <laughs> yeah, Jack Wildchild. Wildchild. Mm-hmm. Um, oh No has given me some incredible soundscapes. So has Madlib. Obviously, people know about the Madlib stuff, but they don't know about the Oh No stuff as much as they know about the. Mad okay, Lib so stuff. I'm gonna give Oh No his flowers right Please now because if it wasn't for Oh No, yes, I would not have the trajectory of my career that I've had. Mm-hmm. On that tour, I made really good friends with Oh No. When I got home, he gave me a CD of 16 beats. Mm-hmm. I recorded 15 hip hop tracks. On that, on that beat CD. Really, mm. you know, when you get a beat CD, you pick one, pick two, mm. and write to it. And I was like, I need to show this guy who I am and what right. I'm about. So I recorded a whole album. And then I, there was a 16th track. I didn't know what to do. And at the time, I was deep in listening to a lot of, uh, of the classic songs, um, the Nina Simones and the Ella Fitzgeralds, the uh, Otis Reddings and the Sam Cooks. And this mm-hmm. haunting tune of Change Is Gonna Come mm-hmm. by Sam Cooke was just ringing in my head. I said, I'm going to try I'm gonna try singing this song over this last beat because right. I don't have any more raps to put to it. I don't even know what to write to it. I'm just going to sing on here. Who knows what, what, Mike's, what, what Ono's going to think. Right. So I record it and I send it to him and he calls me back. He's like, yo, this, la- this track right here, I need to show this to Stone Store. I need to show this to Egon. And so he shares it with Stone's Throw, and um, within within a year or a couple of years, uh, the converse, conversation started, mm-hmm. and then uh, Stone's Throw signed me to be a singer. And I was like, I guess I gotta, <laughs> I really need to learn to sing now. <laughs> That's when now I, I gotta first started out. hearing about you around that time. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are not aware that Oh No and Mad Lib and yourself produced that first album, right? Together. Yes. Yeah, so Mad Lib gave me uh, a beat CD, but I. I, I didn't have it in me to record a whole album to this BCD <laughs> right. this time. And um, I tried. I tried hard. <laughs> um, but I recorded a couple of songs. One was a song that I called Maybe. Mm-hmm. And it was on a track that had a loop that went, Maybe. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, maybe. Mm-hmm. Right. And when I sent it to him, he was like, oh, man, sorry. I just gave that one to my man's Dilla. Dang. Jay Dilla. Guilty Simpson. And, it, and, yeah. and at the end of that song... Jay Dilla says, yo, I'm going to ask my man Dave New York mm. how you feel about Rest radio and hip-hop. Dave. And Dave New York says, how I feel about radio hip-hop is all garbage. <laughs> rest in peace to Dave New York, who's on that track. Yes. Word is um, So And rest in peace to Dilla. Word. Stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow go away. What's the world?